Today's tutorial, we're going to take you guys through a crucial beginner workout. Try to keep the reps between 10 to 15 for a total of 2 to 4 sets. Let's begin with chin ups. Our main prerogative with any chin up or pull up variation is that we always try to maintain the scapular depression and retraction even in the bottom phase of the movement. Additionally, it's vital that we always try to have the chin come over and on top of the bar for every rep. So that way we complete the range of motion in the elbow and shoulders. Next we have the negative dips. The negative dips, are, should, the negative dips should be performed with a slight angling of the body with a focus primarily on bringing the chest down while keeping it forward of the wrists at the same time. It's vital that we maintain scapular depression as much as we possibly can as we come down. Next we have the pull up hold with the chin over the bar. Try to aim for 10 to 15 second hold. This exercise will activate our neuromuscular system whilst increasing time under tension, whilst at the same time improve our overall ability in pull ups as well as improve our pull up endurance. Next we have the simple bar push up. The reason why the bar push up is preferred over the floor push up, especially for a beginner, is that we are able to clench tight onto the bar by having the wrist in a much more safer and stable position by activating our forearm flexors and extenders. Try to always maintain a hollow body throughout the entire movement pattern. Next we have the supinated rows. Try to always have your chest popping up, meaning that your scapula is in constant retraction and depression. Think of pulling the bar to below the height of your chest, whilst having the elbows tucked in towards your body at all times. Next we have the wide floor push-up. The wide positioning of the hands will shorten the range of motion, however, it will make it much more challenging for us to maintain a stable scapula as we come down. More of our lats will also be engaged in a wider push-up variation, meaning that we don't only target the chest, but as well as the lats. Now for a vital core exercise, the hollow body. Ensure that the shoulders are always off the ground. Try to have a round upper back with your feet approximately 6 inches off the ground. The compact torso will ensure that you establish that straight line which we are looking for, meaning that we are maintaining perfect form, which is exactly what we want to keep in all our skills. Finally, we have the scapular depressions from a hang. Ensure that we allow our shoulders to just relax as much as possible and then depress to your maximum ability and hold temporarily for each rep. This way we ensure that we maintain the muscle tension in order to strengthen and condition our shoulders efficiently. You can join us in Greece in May of 2023, where we tour these magical places together in the Bodysthenics Escape in 2023. We wish to have you there with us, training, exploring, and dining in Greece's natural wonders. Thanks for watching today's tutorial, guys. If you guys found value, then be sure to subscribe and also hit that bell icon for notifications. We upload a new tutorial every Wednesday and Saturday at 3 p.m. European Easter Summer Time. For those athletes who want a more in-depth approach to their calisthenics progress, be sure to get your own copy of the 100 Calisthenics Secrets book. And for an even more depth analysis on how you can progress as an all-round calisthenics athlete, be sure to get access to our exclusive Ultimate Calisthenics course. And for those athletes who want to join the Bodysthenics global family of athletes who are taking their skills and strength to the next level, be sure to apply for online coaching today in order to fast track your progress and achieve elite calisthenics status. I'm George, Bodysthenics coach. See you guys in the next video.